Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are back as General Chambers from Australia, the yellow player. We're going to be playing the map Italy, which is a really cool looking map with a lot of funky bonuses. And if you're watching this video right now, it means this game was a banger. So I only put the best on the YouTubes. I'm the yellow player. I'll be on the last position, starting with six troops on the first turn. We have the Italian continent right now. We have blizzards on, but it seems like these blizzards are not impactful whatsoever. Purple player spawning with a good bonus on the left side. Southeastern France. He's got a nice little bunch of troops here. I'm probably going to lose that three stack immediately. Uh, let me see. I've got a lot of troops in the middle here, but also with black. So I'm wondering if black and I can kind of coordinate around each other without doing a bunch of damage. Pink player here. It looks like he actually wants all of Italy. Interesting. I'm going to try to ally with black and hope that they don't smack all my stacks around him. The map we're playing is Italy. We're playing world domination fixed cards, just like classic fixed, but on a different map. We're playing with alliances on, no fog. We've got blizzards on and no portals. So I would have liked to see some cool blizzards, maybe choke some part of the map up to create like a little honeypot, but we didn't get that today. What's purple player going to do on his first turn? What's he smacking? This orange one, probably? No, no, he's smacking me out here. Wait, why didn't he add in here and go for this bonus? I mean, I'm perfectly fine if you're going to be playing this game where you put all your troops on the other side. Um, maybe I can coordinate all my troops and go for this bonus, and I can take France. Yeah, let's. Uh, once we jump into Black's turn. These are the bonuses, right? Southeastern France is worth four. Ita Italian islands are plus two. Italian pen peninsula is worth six. Italy, northern Italy, sorry, is worth five. Austrian empire is seven. Adriatic coast is three. And Greece is three as well. Orange wants an alliance. Um, no. So black didn't accept my alliance and he immediately slams my four stack. That's not how I wanted to start the game off. You imbecile. Now, I... I'm going to try an alliance with Pink. Our opponents, by the way, we've got Lorenz Venkatara Man from Germany. We've got General Fom from Germany. Karip from, I believe, Finland. General Tabak, I think that's Argentina. And we've got Troy Fujimura from Turkey. What's the Pink play? Now he accepts my alliance? Give him a thumbs down. You didn't have to hit my four stack, idiot. I could have left. I would have literally just left and let you have it. Like, how great would that have felt? He's lucky I'm not a psycho, because I could put six troops on this five, roll this one, have a ten stack pointed at his seven, and then I could even manual roll him from my four. If I get one good manual roll from the four, I could do a ten on five blitz. That would be disgusting, right? Please, pink. Don't smack my other four stack. I would not like to play a game of losing all my... Please run out of time. I'm just manualing it. Dude, just let me leave. Nobody's even letting me get a turn, man. I have 14 troops. I'm already down to 14. I haven't even got to play yet. What is this game? Well, Orange is going to be going for the... What is that? Greece in the bottom right, I believe. Ottoman Greece, yeah. He just red just smoked a purple four stack, cause and he's gonna cause red wants the Adriatic coast. Okay, so purple put his troops over there and just got smoked for it. Now what? Like this is very annoying. My current state of affairs. I'm gonna go like this. And. I'm going to lose my four stack in the bottom. No matter what I do, my four stack in the bottom is gone. Everybody's an absolute wing nut. I'm going to just make an 11 stack and pray to Jeebus that I get a big trade on three and I get to live to use it. Because <laughs> right now it's looking real bad. Real bad. Black didn't have to hit my four. I would have left. He didn't have to hit my four. I would have left. I would have attacked up from my, my plan. If I went before these guys, I would have went from Tuscany to Genoa. And I would have fortified out from Corsica. Actually, blue was here, right? I would have found a way to get out, though. I was leaving. I was leaving. I Maybe maybe I would have hit uh, Languedoc, Rustenlin, or whatever, and then fortified through here, and then had all my troops behind purple trying to push him this way. Right? I moved behind purple in France and try to push him to northern Italy. 
right? And, and purple's already putting stacks over here instead of here, so... Like, I, I would have done something madly different if I went before black and pink. Both of them are lunatics. But, okay, so now black's gonna take his plus two, and pink's gonna take his plus six. And what's gonna happen? Are they gonna fight or be friends? Right? Is black gonna feel comfortable beside pink with six? Or is he gonna be intimidated? What's purple do now? He lost a four stack to red. But he's in the bonus red once. Now he's adding to the left side. <laughs> what is happening? Wait, orange stayed in here with his threes too. That's very annoying for me. I need him to get his threes out. What are you coming in here for? Everything sucks. At least I can... I, I'm going to actually be able to add troops to the right and move out of orange's bonus and sit over here. I want, his, I want orange and me to have a friendly relationship. Give Orange a thumbs up. I'm going to signal Orange to move out of here, and I'm also going to move out of here. I'm going to... Oh, get sucker dogged. Roll the five on two now. Three on one's not 100%. Roll... Okay. You're not even taking the bonus? Go to the five. No, he thinks I'm trying to... Black probably thinks I'm aiming for this island. I am not that bad of a player, bro. I don't care about the island. If he hits my 11 because he thinks I'm coming for the island... Oh my god. Tell black attack pink. This is rough. I can't break pink from the back. I could break this one though. I might actually do that. Maybe I run from the top left of the map, right? I don't I don't want a single stack over here though. I played this map a couple months ago, and I ended up single stacking on the right side of the board while everybody fought the whole game, and then I ended up cleaning everything up. And I, like, it was how I had to play that game. And it, it looks like another game that, like, that's my best option. Break pink to signal black goodwill, and then also hit Croatia, because this, uh, the Papal states I can connect to, and then I can launch to Croatia. And then I bring this up, and then I've broken pink... I've shown, I give black a thumbs up and stuff like that. And then I'm out of black's way, and then maybe he can test with pink instead. And then I'm also out of orange's way. It's just like, none of that looks good to me. But if I'm not in any of the bonuses, like, what's, is red going for the Austrian Empire? Uh... Give orange a thumbs up. I'm, I'm going to make this move. And I, I'm, I'm just going to pray that these guys start kicking it off. And I am going to break pink. Trying to... Give black a, a heart and a thumbs up. And an attack pink. And I'm going to hit pinks too also. Okay. I've given... The, I've got a cavalry and an artillery if I can get a dude next turn. He gives me a thumbs up. I broke Pink's bonus and hit his two. I don't think Pink comes out to hit my nine and suicide me. So now it's going to be black and pink butting heads here. I give orange his bonus in the bottom. He was going to hit my four anyways. I might as well save my troops. I have a cavalry and an artillery. I need a dude card real bad. He's guarding from pink now. Except pink can break him. What happens next? Purple's a loose cannon. I like. I wanted France. I wanted Northern Italy. There's too many orange troops. Too many purple troops. I can't get it. Uh, as long as I'm sitting... The biggest reason why I moved to Croatia is the women are very hot in Croatia. No. Is Genoa is, is a big stack looking at black. Right? So as much as I might be asking black, hey, fight pink. If I'm staring at him with a giant stack, he doesn't trust me. Especially after turn one when I thumbs downed him for hitting my four. Right? So now, I hit pink and completely left. I am now no threat to black. And now I say hit pink. I think this is my best chance for black to take the islands and maybe start fighting pink. We'll see what happens. Uh, if purple bots, the eight will smack my three and I will lose that position. Sweet. All right. I'm a big fan of that. 
Oh, of course. Let's just make things even more difficult. Well, if I get a big trade on three and I survive, then the purple bot will start pressing out, expanding from the France into Northern Italy and the islands. And pink and black will be in for a rude awakening. Oh, yeah. Now what? Yeah, he's positioned. Now I can roll down at least. I'll take a card here. Because this is going to suck. Did I even make this a 6 and make this a 5? So if black hits, it would split and probably leave my 5. Although I'll lose the 5 going forward. What's red going to do on his turn? He's trying to get this 5 in here because he wants the Adriatic Coast, right? So once he goes around me, I will go up. And I'll try to tuck into one of these corners. Or both of these corners. I'll be Western Austria and Eastern Hungary. And then just maybe somebody will be in the middle blocking the kills. There's two territories... Corinthia and Western Hungary that both block my stacks from each other. So if someone goes for my kill, it'll be more difficult. Pink's guarding is it is Italy now. I mean, I call this Italy, but I guess Northern Italy is also part of it. It's my knowledge of Europe. I'm learning. He doesn't know where to do. He doesn't know where to back off. Make an alliance to Troy and maybe Troy will break pink. Maybe Troy would also break orange. I could break orange here, but then I lose this four stack. Guaranteed. I think purple loses the four stack here. And he is a bot, so that's good. Uh, hit the two. Nice. Yeah, if purple loses all his troops on the right. He will just start steamrolling the left side. Okay. No, he leaves the four there. Interesting. Uh, should I make a six on the left side just to try to live longer over there? Just till I trade, or what should I do in regards to that? I'm going to make this a 12. I will roll this 3 on 1 for a card. I did get it. I'm going to wait. No trade on 3. Okay. Now, I could get a dude, an infantry, or an artillery to give me an 8 or a 10 trade. And either would be fine. I just need to trade immediately just to be worth not killing. Because if I lose these three troops over here, I lose the one here to orange. Yeah. I'm going to be down to, what, 16 troops? I'm very soon going to be on 16 troops. This 12 and this 4. And that is not looking good to me. But if I can get my 4 to this corner and my 12 to this corner, there's a world I can maybe survive. But they're so close together right now. Oh, yep. I lose my position, which is fine. I saw that coming. What did black have? Uh, it rolled this. It had an eight stack. So even if I left this as a five, it was going to roll me. So that's fine. I used the card. I, I got the card before it ran out. And that's the best I could do. Orange started with how many? Six. I'm like a little tempted to add here and go up one. Just to have like three separate looking positions. If I still have this yellow one, I mean. Giving pink this bonus for free doesn't seem like a good idea. Or, or, or giving orange that bonus. Orange doesn't deserve a second bonus. Um, does he hit pink? He knocks me out of there. Doesn't hit pink. Okay. Pink's getting nine a turn now. The biggest bonus on the map that's realistic to hold is the plus six, right? Austrian Empire is not realistic. So technically pink has basically the biggest bonus on the map. And he just let him hold. He got to hold his plus... Like, what is his game plan if you're going to let Pink get three troops a turn more than you, right? Or four more a turn. He's, Black's going to be getting five. Pink's getting nine. So he's getting almost double the troops for income, right? If he's getting double your income, how long are you going to let that last, Black, before he just eats you, right? I slowed him down one. Now it's a lot of trouble. I think Pink's going to start pressing, though. With his, with his, he seems like an attacky kind of player. And he's always going to keep stacking all four spots to guard his bonus. That's nice. So if somebody does break him, they hit a stack. Orange is lined up to kill me. I might die on three cards even. or on my, I'm probably dead on my fourth card, honestly. He doesn't even take a card. He's too slow. Interesting. Troy Fujimura. Okay, bro. With your trade on three, lucky. Just going to hit the purple four out. 
There's no world I can kill somebody into a trade, right? Like, purple's got too many troops. I can't do it. There's no play for me here other than die to orange if he wants to kill me. I mean, orange would make a 14. But if he trades, he could kill me for sure. Yeah, now they've all got bonuses. Wait, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get out of his way. It's one... Oh, I do have a wild card. It's one extra attack, right? If he went one, two, into it. Now he's got to go one, in, in, in. It's one extra. And he's stacking down here. I might live. The downside here is red might just kill me. Ah, uh, he doesn't have a big stack to roll to 15, though. It'd be an awkward... He'd have to double smack it. Which I guess you could. Orange now has a second bonus, but I don't think purple's going to allow that. It's going to eight on four. This four, probably. What's the bot do? Yeah. Takes the bonus and then breaks orange. No, oh, stops. Interesting. Black's now card blocked, though. Black has to break somebody to get out. If he card skips, he's the biggest wimp. You have to break orange. You cannot allow him to have a second position. Also, if you're black, you could take not orange out of the position even. But you don't have to. You could just break him because the purple bot is going to expand out next turn anyways. So orange only has a chance to hold that bonus for one turn. He's going to break the bot instead and give orange the second bonus? That means the bot might not even break orange. It might just retake and chill again. That is a terrible move. That was a terrible move. He hit a two of a bot instead of a one of orange. That was horrendous. I'm not even kidding. Like, I didn't even think he was going to do that as an option. Like, I that, that was such a bad move, I didn't even see it as an option. <laughs> I'm like, he's either going to card skip, or he's going to hit the one. That was even worse. Okay. I hope the purple bot trades and just starts slamming stuff. I will live long enough to uh, survive to trade, right? Unless red just does the, the double slam. Because red gets six on his turn. So he can make a 16 stack. This eight can't kills my three and the one. This eight rolls me until he can 16 on 11 me. Like, it's definitely there if red wants to take it. Troy Fujimara. Now he might even just 16 on 15 blitz and try to get lucky. And then, nope, he's adding out here, which is weird. Well, I, I I live. I live. That's amazing. I'm going <laughs> to... Wowzers. Okay. We're, uh, we're quite happy about this situation. Nobody's allying me. That's okay. I will have my 29 stack. And I will back off from pink. No, I'm going to leave pink blocked here. Pink could get cards if I don't move. So if I, if I move. So if I stay here, it's one less spot pink can get cards. Right? So if orange, if, if the purple bot starts expanding out, then he's got to start hitting pink stacks or black or red stacks. And breaking red or black for a card is not good. So I like that. I hope purple bot trades and just starts doing some stuff. It is also, which I just noticed, pink did actually take a card off orange, which stopped this bonus. Ooh! Oh, no, okay. I thought orange was going to hit him back or retake the bonus, which both of those are terrible plays. Because the bot's going to retake and start pushing. So, orange saw his one moment of an opportunity to hold that bonus before the bot came out. I am very happy I left early game and didn't commit to the corner, right? Because the purple bot would have ruined my game. Like, I would have been dead by now. Yeah, start expanding out and take that bonus, too. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Now what are you doing, Black? You're just chilling? Like, Pink's gonna get very far ahead. He's about to get nine troops, go to 44, and then also trade. We are a little bit lucky. Pink skipped one card, which slowed him down a little bit, but... This 
going to hit the bot again. So at least this time it makes more sense. Last turn it didn't make as much sense. This turn it makes more sense. He wants the bot to be weak beside him. Perfectly fine with that. Yeah, pink gets nine. Ooh. As soon as pink starts hitting other people, this game's going to get very spicy. I, I, I really wish I was one of the people with the bonuses, right? I have four opponents and a bot. My four opponents have a bonus, and even the bot has a bonus. Like, if purple player was here and he held this bonus, black wouldn't be breaking him. So everybody gets something except for me. I'm going to do the best I can to show you guys how to win in a game like this. Because it is still possible. There's the big trade. 54 troops coming in. Big daddy slapper stack. Oh, is that hitting somebody? That could easily hit somebody. That No, he's going to four on one. He's got this. He already put his card taking troops up here. He's chilling. Purple's going to hit the black three. Oh, red's going to trade cards with me up here. I'm in a good position to... Like, you can see my current state is I have access to red and pink. And, and literally through this pink five, I actually have access up here to purple or over to black. So if fighting kicks off... Right now, I currently have access to everybody except for orange. And if red takes the Vavoid ship of Serbia, I would also have access to orange. And I'm going to leave a two in that corner. Do I need a dude card? I don't know. Did I get a dude last turn? No, I didn't. Okay. I did need a dude. Didn't get him. It's okay. 33 troops is enough to not be worth killing. I technically have the biggest stack on the board, funny enough. Which is a good way to play. If you don't have a bonus, having one giant stack is the safest way to play. Or like like two stacks, but opposite sides of the map. But that is dangerous to the extent that somebody might knock one of them out. Or, or somebody with 220 stacks kills your 215 stacks for a kill, right? If people have a bunch of smaller stacks, it's much harder to kill a big stack. People don't like to run 10s into a 30, into a 15, into a 30, into a 6. Like, they don't like killing somebody like that. It's not optimal. It doesn't feel good either. He's also... Purple bot is going to hit the three. Okay. It doesn't even take the bonus. Interesting. The purple bot hit the pink three instead of the black three to take the bonus. Weird. That could be because the, the stack is touching the black stack. Bots don't like to roll away from stacks they're touching. But it would still be touching it, so... Hmm. He takes another card on the purple bot. I'll be honest with you. I think Blacksmith's playing this heavily. If I'm black, bear with me. Look at his per position. You have this 39. What if it was a 29 and you had like a 6 or a 7 up here in, or even a 10 because he wouldn't have wasted troops this way. If you had a 10 in Western Austria to take cards up here, or a 10 in tie roll, and, and you had a 29 here, and then you let the purple bot hold this, and then it comes out and it takes Northern Italy. Pink has a two point guard it has to guard against the purple bot. Red also has to guard against the purple bot. Your third, your 29 would be big enough that it the, it's fine from the bot, but the bot would be seriously pressuring your neighbors and like destroying them, right? Black is essentially saving his neighbors from the bot right now. Instead of just destroying his neighbors by using the bot. And he has a stack up here for cards. Interesting. Yeah, so if red takes uh, the void ship of Serbia, I will have access to everybody on the board. In case something kicks off. Which is like, you might think, well, you only have 30 troops. The hell are you going to do? <laughs> just later game. Give us 10, 15, 20 minutes when we get there. These guys start fighting, and I have one big stack that has access to everybody. Possibilities are endless. If pink and red are right before me, and pink goes into red, and red hard on retaliates, and these guys are both squishy and dead, I have access to both of them. And that is very juicy. 
So I'm going to take a card above me. And then bring the three back to the 32. I, I have no trade on four, dude. The game is really going to make it difficult for me, mate. Bad spawn. Noob smacking me before I start. And now I'm the no... I'm the have-not in a an entire game full of halves. Now, the, the one benefit is I am probably the most skilled player in the lobby. And these guys are most likely between novice and expert, I would say. Right? I Maybe there's a master in here, but I'm not seeing them. Right? I don't think black is. I don't think pink is. I don't think red is. I don't think orange is. No, I, I don't think there's an expert, right? I, I think, or an, an master. I'd say novice to expert would be my guesses for here. But then again, the rank system is kind of, it, it's not, it doesn't mean anything right now because you can just cheese your way to grandmaster with absolutely no effort if you just cheese it, so. Um, okay, purple bot's not even finishing its bonus. It might start working on this one. Very weird. Oh no, it's not even a bot anymore. Wait, what? Did I miss that? Purple might have been back for a couple turns then. Wait, Purple, take your bonus dog. Oh my god, he's so killable, dude. If you're black, you kill Purple for four right there. That is a solid kill. That's a that's a wingding slam right there. Holy moly, four cards for 23. That is easy. You got the 43 pointed at him. I'm safe from Black, because he probably doesn't see the reach around Sweeper, but... Jesus, and if he didn't kill Purple for 23, is he going to kill me on 38 for 5? Honestly, you don't know. I could kill Purple for 4. I'm the only person that can kill Purple right now. Unless Pink, like, buffs up to 5, that is bordering my 32, right? Pink's got a 41 in the bottom. It's very scary. Uh, so here's my plan. If purple takes a fifth card... Like, I'm about to take a fifth card. If purple takes a fifth card and, and they is still alive on my turn, I'll kill him for five. I will trade, kill him, trade, right? It's tempting. Please don't hit my two. Thank you. I like having a two in the corner there, right? Just makes it a little bit more, uh... Yeah, perfect. I'll hit the Vavoid Ship of Serbia again. I, like, the two is not that important of a thing. Like, obviously I could have it as a one and then just have everything on my big stack. And I'd have a 35 instead of a 34. Okay, it's the second biggest trade, by the way. But there's a couple reasons I've got the two there. There's the off chance I get the plus two from having that extra territory. Um, me just having a two in the corner just... It could be like a little psychological thing, meaning I'm a little bit more difficult to kill. People might not see that. I mean, red and orange might see that and be like, I'm just going to hit your two stack. So I also, I could be negative that way. I just... I feel like... It, it's a little bit good. It really is meaningless, honestly. He's going to combine his snacks together. Oh, he's attacking fast. Orange is a fast boy. Maybe Orange is expert or master. And we don't know. He did let me get my stack out. He repositioned to let me get it out. He did try to hold... He did make use of Northern Italy before the bot broke it. And could have held it for one turn if Pink didn't take it. Or didn't break him. And then when Pink did break him, he chilled. Maybe Orange is a better player. Interesting. Right now he doesn't have access to me. So we'll see what Red opens up. But I can tell you I'm not opening this 20... Well, I'm going to trade anyways. If purple doesn't trade... Oh, it's so tempting. And now I can go through the top, too. I don't even have to go through the pink five. I can just bop, bop, kill purple. Into, into becoming the France guy. Maybe black would let me sit in France. I'll give him thumbs ups and loves and stuff. Then at least I'll have a bonus. Oh man, if purple tra if purple bots, it means that the bot will instantly use the trade no matter what it is. My hope was that purple doesn't trade, takes a card, and then I'm killing him. But if he bots, that's a problem. Yep, yeah, there it is. Damn. Opportunity averted. 
No, it's okay. It is okay. This means purple bot's gonna cause purple bot at the very least will cause more mayhem than purple player doing nothing, not even trying to hold a bonus, right? So Let's see what red does here as far as potentially opening orange to me. I don't want him to. Kinda wanna keep this. Maybe I move up, take a card up. Leave a little bit of a stack there, and then start moving it up to uh, Western Austria. If I can get a 2 in Western Austria and a 2 in Eastern Hungary, and then hit, hit sit with my stack in Croatia, I'm a big fan. Maybe I don't get that opportunity, but maybe I do. Pink's 8 stays there. That is annoying, though. That literally cuts off what I wanted to do. Go back. Fortify to your 41 stack. Ah, oh, you suck. Just, I'm just trying to make my life easier, dude. Why do you gotta do this to me? So if red takes Western Serbia, orange is not open to me. If he takes Vavoid ship again, then he will be. And if he kills me for five, then he kills me for five. I think he's killing me. No, he's not. Okay. It would have been a bad kill. 36 troops for five cards. Would have been a bad kill. He does open orange to me, though. We are alive. And now we what? I don't need to be open to orange for a kill stack right now, so. Just do this. Okay. Now I need to do it again. Orange trades immediately. That was a very fast trade. Trades on three, trades immediately. Starts placing. Funny enough, orange is semi-card blockable. Like, if, if... Hear me out. If his other two orange ones get knocked out, I could kind of, like, just make a 7-7 seven, seven and a big stack. As long as red doesn't open for Void Ship or, or Western Serbia. I mean, I guess red will keep giving him cards here. But that would be funny. Yeah, purple's now swinging as a bot. Cool. The play from behind single stack Austria strategy. Interesting. This feels like the very last time I played Italy, it was exactly the same thing. And I used alliances to get people to fight in here, and I ended up taking the dub. I don't want to play the same game over again. Let's see. Wait, what's Black doing? Why did he put so many troops there? Just doing a full reach around sweep? Are you trying to hold a second bonus? I would love if you tried. No. Okay. Leaves a 12 there, which is weird. Is he trying to, like, force the bot to take the bonus? Does Pink find that threatening? Pink does the dude trade. That's why I didn't get any dudes. Well, thank you for putting the dudes back in the deck before I get my next card. I appreciate you. Come on. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see your magic. He's putting weird stacks everywhere. Are you going to split your 15 into a couple sevens also? I wanted to be there. I mean, I would like if he knocked orange out of everywhere up top. He is doing the weird split. What? Very odd. I mean, I could also I could also split. I, I, I don't want to. But if I stacked in Western Hungary and Croatia, like a 25-25, then uh, he can't come through either of those ways, and he has to trade up here with black and purple in this nightmare fiesta. Oh! Good, now Orange doesn't have access to me, just in case he was hungry for my four cards this turn. I need a dude card, please. J 
just as good. Take that in a heartbeat. I will use it right away, I think. I don't want to sit on five cards with a big stack beside red. I'd also love to be allied with red. Maybe I should have moved my stack up and sat up there one. But I don't want pink to start sneaking out underneath me. I want to keep pink pointed between red and black. Okay, purple bot, do something cool and fun. Black's been keeping you tamed for a while. Nope, that's not cool and fun. That's kind of lame, actually. Black has one easy card for a one stack to have. He's going to take it. What weird stuff is pink going to do now? So you're going to do another like 8-8 eight, eight or 8-7 eight, split? Wouldn't surprise me. I'm wondering if Red's feeling threatened. Like, I, I have done nothing to him the whole game with my stack at him, right? But it looks like my stack sitting on him looks very threatening. But the real reason is I want to block pink, Pink's 5 in from coming through here. If Pink bots, that would be hilarious. Because that would hit everything. This 41 would hit a 25 or an 8 or a 12. It would hit any of these. They're all 100% rolls. It would be hilarious. If he bots at the end of this turn but doesn't attack, I want to see the panic between these guys going to their next turn. Oh my god. Please don't kill me, Red, for my four cards. It's not worth it. Like, 50 troops for four cards, not worth it. What if I gave him a dude trade? Dude, Pink is a bot. This is amazing. Oh, yes. Okie dokie, what do you do now? Pink's gonna start hitting all your stuff, dude. 48 on 45 is not even a good roll. Oh, the trade comes in. That's so scary. That is so scary. You're about to feel the pain from Pink. I wanna attack, I wanna move quickly. I want to block the 9, too. I, I want to give Pink the least amount of cards possible. No. I want to have a 56 pointed here. Orange can be open to me. It's fine. This is fine. This is real good. Okay. I just need a dude card. I, I wanted to get the Pink... Oh, he's back. No! Oh, my God. I was so excited. What would have happened if Pink spotted... Was spotted. If he bought it, like, this red 6 gets popped by the 8 or the 7 to break the bonus, probably. Unless the 42 hits the 8. But the 42 could hit the 8, the black 12, one of these 27s. The 42 would roll something. 17 could roll the 16 of black. Like, there is a bunch of magic that could have happened. Oh. Yes! Yes! Now the purple bot's looking. Now the purple bot wants Northern Italy. So this black 16's in some danger. Now if black wants a card, he's got to hit the purple 3. Yeah. Okie doke. I'm going to offer pink an alliance. It does the bonus of letting me know when he goes offline, if he secretly quits immediately. And also maybe we can communicate and do some stuff together. Be friends. Friends forever. There are times where I wish we had, like, a 30-second turn timer. Like, people spend so much of their turn doing nothing. Oh! He's killing purple for the four cars. He's going to own three bonuses at the end of this turn. Wait, are you feeding it to pink? You have to... I mean, I will kill purple then. Unless pink does. Pink should. If pink doesn't, though, then red should, right? Red doesn't have a trade. He makes a 12 here. 12 on 7 is 100%, but he would need a really good roll to get the 4 and the 1 also. But if red tried it and failed, that'd be amazing for me. Because I go immediately after red. Put myself in a good position. Also, like, if 
Black's gonna hold two bonuses. That's very, very scary. Okay, Pink is here. He's gonna go for the purple kill. And he trades. He's at 110 troops. Pink is massively ahead right now. He doesn't go for it. It's four cards for 12 troops. That's that's what I'm saying. Like these are not master grandmaster players. Maybe Orange could be a, an expert or a master. Maybe. But the other ones, no. Like, Black just destroyed Purple without finishing him. Not worth it. Red's not going to kill him. Unless he does a full reach around, which would be fine to see. He might. If he does, he's hitting a bunch of pink. Pink will be mad. No, he doesn't. Oh, man. So I either hit nine troops of pink to kill him. Or I go through the pink seven. Hmm. What is better? I think I'm going to hit the pink seven. Everybody's so passive. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to hit the seven. I only lost two. Only lost three. Dude, these dice, though. Okay, incredible dice. And then I lost four on a four. I hit two sevens, lost a two and a three, and then I lost four on a four. And one on a one. That's okay. I lost five and five, right? I lost ten troops for that? Super worth. I'm going to go right back here, or what? Hmm. And then I, I take this and I give Black a thumbs up and a heart. I have now eliminated a player, broken pink, and got a bonus. Do I die for this? Our alliance is over. Of course. Because you're a noob. What, are you and Pink best friends? Or, like, what the hell's going on, bro? Like, I'm not letting you hold a second bonus. My 49 is backed off from him. Try to make an alliance. Because I had no bonus at the start of the game, I deserve to never have a bonus? Is that how the game works, Black? Is that how it works? I'll just take cards here now. He brings that into the 44. He's lining up to try to make a kill stack on me? Bro. Incredibly douchey. But, like, that's what happens when you play around with noobs, right? Like... I Knowing Black is like, he, he eats crayons, I should have maybe single stacked and gone back over here. But I'm not making plays like that. I'm going to play and try to get a bonus, try to get into the game and try to start fighting people with extra troops. Me sitting here hiding, hoping they fight when everybody's being a passive pussy willow. Waste of my time. Let's go. If you want to hit me, Black, you hit me. I'm taking the bonus back. I will trade too. I will trade on Riviera. If I stack my full stack on Riviera, he will hit it. So I'm going to keep stacking in Providence, though. He might hit it anyways, but... Now red's expanding with sixes? Or are you going to leave move that somewhere else? Yeah, everybody's doing weird expanding things. Okay. Backing off. I have a wild card. Good. The reason I traded there, I I, don't, I didn't care if I was going to get a big trade. It, I needed to get rid of my cards. 
I have 69 troops, by the way. We dab on that. Oh, okay. Do I get suicided by Black or not? He's only got nine troops more than me. He's got a trade coming, though. But, like, he's not that far ahead. Like, we both just die. He is going to hit me again. Why? Hmm. Like, bro, you're, you're, you're fighting with fire right now. Wait, my Spotify stopped playing. Uh, okay. What in the world, bros? We were playing music and stuff. It, like, auto-logged me out of Spotify out of nowhere. Like, I just got auto-logged out. Okay. I'm just going to keep taking the card here. And maybe one time he decides to start taking cards somewhere else. Although, if Pink leaves a 15 here, he's, like, forcing Black to take cards inside of me. Huh. He's also guarding my kill from Black, which is funny, too. Like, if Black does suicide me, he, Pink's got the kill on me, or he's got my kill guarded. Orange would probably take it, or Red would. Wait. Yeah. Red could come through. Red wouldn't, though. It's really weird. Like, this... It's... It's a very low-skill lobby, but, like, not a feisty low-skill. Like, a low-skill, low-aggression lobby. Like, normally, if you get a low-skill lobby, people are very aggressive. But this is a low-skill, very passive lobby. So these guys actually could have higher ranks, believe it or not. Uh, good enough trade. Okay, what's Orange doing? Takes his card up here and chills. As per usual. Oh, he hits red. What is my access path over there? 1, 1, 15, and then I have access? Like if red full suicides orange for that. Because I go after red. What if red full suicides orange? Like I'm, Maybe I just died of black. Maybe black could be my friend. No, he's going to break me again. At least he's putting things here instead of on the 61. So it's less likely he's going to actually hit my big snack. But Pink's 15 here is forcing Black to trade with me here. It's whatever. He doesn't want to open me to his snack, but I'm already open. Okay, what happens here? Everybody's like, you better trade and destroy Black. But then the game's over, right? You don't win if you do that. I made the aggressive move I saw the opportunity for. If I didn't do that, probably, yeah, I don't think Orange would have got the kill. I think Purple would have traded, and then the bot would have just lived in here for longer, right? I saw an opportunity, and, and Black also holding two bonuses. Like, I don't know if Black and Pink are friends, or if they're just using Alliance chat and they're cool. I don't know what the situation is there, but it looks like, like Pink was going to let Black hold two bonuses. And Black's been letting him hold Italy the whole time, so like... Things I, I think are obviously wrong to do, they're doing. He's what is these splits, bro? Pink obviously has no idea what he's doing. Just hurry up with your turn, bro. Let's see what Red does. Like he's so confused. <laughs> hurry up with your I wish I could have 30 second turn timers. Or or some other way for turns, right? Like how to get people to because some people need the time to do stuff. But like Okay, that's a Ram Dingle right there. That's a Ram Dingle. The way he added his troops, it was a ram dingle. Yeah, you could tell right away. That's a full ram dingle. Now, I could double kill them. Yeah, it's a full suicide. I, I'm not going to double kill them. I'm going to take my bonus and wait. Hmm. 
Hmm. But like that means if black and pink are teaming, then they are gonna win. I'm just, I'm just gonna trade. Because I could go 1, 1, 15. I, I guess I couldn't double kill them. 1, 1, 12. 1. I could kill one of them. I could kill red. Okay. What happens here? Does anybody else break out and start doing stuff? I mean, orange can't hit red. He has to go through pink, but he can't. Oh, he can hit red this way. He's got the reach around slammer right there. And then he fortifies the 29 out. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so they're gonna... This is good. Because I think if Red doesn't have a trade, he's still gonna hit... Oh, he's gonna come back. I don't know. Red might full feed him. Although he's only got one card. I, I, although I'm in my own drama beef with Black. Pink's card blocking us, so Black has to break me now. So I don't even know if he wants to keep doing it. Maybe he'd be friendly now if Pink wasn't blocking him. But, like, does Pink even know that's what he's doing? Maybe. Maybe he does. He's had to have figured it out by now, I'm assuming. He's still got 128 troops. Like, unless Black hits Pink, the game's over. Black and Pink both won't ally me either. Neither would Red, right? Yeah, just nobody wanted to ally this game. Which is probably why the game is the state it is. People don't know to ally so you have better communication. Because then you can play a better game. Just opening up communication between the players is much more skillful. Is he going to split again? Yeah, he's going to. Hmm. He hits my three. Very weird. Pink's going to try to take that second bonus, too. And then have me and Black trading in my bonus while Pink holds two bonuses? Like... What weird state, like, we've reached in a mental on this game, right? Like, because this game could play out any different number of ways where it doesn't lead to this scenario, where I'm allowed to hold one bonus, Pink holds one bonus, and Black holds his bonus, and we trade in Northern Italy. But just the way the game's played out so far, we're going to actually have Pink with two bonuses, and Black's going to let him hold two bonuses while only breaking me for cards. Orange is now officially offline. He's going to die. Yeah, Orange has the kill, or uh, red has the kill on orange now. They'll put him on two cards, 30 troops. Okay, well, we've we've outlasted two players now. We're in top four. How do we win, though, right? Like, I've been hanging around. That's the most important thing so far. But how do we go from here, right? Like, red holds most of the board. Is pink gonna... Pink has... Pink could kill red, hold the whole board. And then we, we see, does black do something about it? My guess is no. Oh, man. My guess is no. Yeah, if I didn't trade those times, I could have big traded now and held my wild. But, like, I'm not trusting Black not to just kill me for no reason. Or, like, feed me for no reason. I honestly don't know if there's a friendship here. Or just good alliance chat. Or even they just maybe have some unspoken agreement because... They both hit me on turn one, and then they both got their bonuses. I, right from turn one, these guys have been hitting everything I have. I lost a four stack to black and two troops off of a four stack to pink right before my first turn. Uh, pink, if you're not hitting red, this is hilarious. All three remaining players will not ally me. It looks like he's thinking about hitting red. Black actually left a five here, so if pink hits that, that might kick something off too. If you let red hold that, this is absurd, dude. This is absurd. If you let red hold that and hit the black five. Like, if they're not friends, hitting the black five is the dumbest thing he can do right now. Black is only pissing with me. The smart play is you ram dingo and kill red. Or not even kill red, but at least break his bone. You're going to let Red hold half the map and two bonuses with two cards and 27 troops? No, okay, okay, he is going to do stuff. Yes, don't split. Damn. I wanted him to move the full stack so Black could backdoor him here. He just 
breaks pink flat up. Let's go. I am not even lying. Black will suicide me before he breaks a pink bonus or anything. It is absurd what is going on in this game. Absolutely absurd what I'm looking at. I'm not going to break Pink's bonus. I'm not going to hit two nine stacks to get to the side of the board and kill Red. I could kill Red and take third. Or kill Red and hide on the right side and hope Black and Pink finally fight. But I don't think they will. So I think it's in my best interest to leave Red alive and have Pink just jockeying with him over here. While I hide in my corner. I actually think that's my best play. He's going to break me instead of Pink. Yeah, it, it, you're an abysmal player. He breaks me and pink. And he's going to go for the red kill? Wait, he's attacking fast, too. I bet your pathing's awful. Oh, he's got okay path. Bro, there's no way you attack this fast when you're that bad. Yep, left. Split. Nope, forgets to split. Now you have to hit the 20. Yep. Okay, so he isn't that good. This is amazing for me. Now I'm second in troops. Look at the speed on him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Final three, baby. And he just hit two pink stacks. Now, neither of them are allied with me. If Pink retaliates by hitting Black, after Black did all that, he broke him, hit two 9 stacks, hit an 18 or a 20 here. Like, he hit 40 troops of Pinks, broke all of his stuff, and killed Red. And all he did to me was I lost one troop. That's why my stack was off. Oh my god, he's go- What? He was even threatening! Oh... Pink, now's the time, doggy dog. Now's the time. If he collides with black, I win. If he collides with black, I win. Like, what's he going to do? Hit my 73? So once he rules out hitting my 73, he's going to do other stuff. Hit his 36, bro. This dude just smoked you. Oh, you're so useless. But, like, I can't kill Black and beat Pink in a 1v1. It's just not possible. Hit the 36. Oh, my God. I have to break all of Black's stuff now. Please tell me that's not your turn. Jesus. Break it. Black's... 36 can only go one way. I'm going to take my bonus and chill. I need black to ram dingle pink. That's my win condition. I have a big trade. Nobody can touch a 74 stack right now. If I break black, black's going to be mad at me. I need black to get his nine troops. I could have hit a bunch of stuff to give him three troops instead of nine. I'd rather give him the nine. Let's see how this position plays out. Does he hit the 13? Like, if they allied with me, this is the time. If we were allied, two of us would kill one person and go into the 1v1. And we'd end the game very quickly. We're almost an hour into this game because of the lack of alliance usage. Specifically because of that. Alliances are the way to make games faster in Risk. That's why I have them on in every game I play that is not Progressive Capitals with Fog. Every non-Fog game I play, I play with Alliances on. Specifically because it allows better communication and allows you to play the game better, right? Like, this is... I don't know what's happening, but... Uh, he, he pulled that off of Pink's Border. Pink just wants to hold bonuses. I don't... Here's the thing. I don't want to let Black back into the game. Especially after what he did to me. But I also can't... Like, I could trade kill Black and take second right now. But I would really like... Like, Pink is such a passive boy. Black smacked you real good. You're just going to let that happen? You're going to take the island bonus? No, good. Hit Black, yes. Break this one, too. I don't think he breaks me. I think he just takes that island. We'll take a card off the three, maybe? 
Hit over here. I want one more. Don't hit my three, dude. Okay. Damn. Mm. I'll take that. I'm not even going to take a card. I'm on 100 troops. And I have a 91 stack. Nobody can hurt my 91 stack right now. What did Black get for his turn? Nine again? Eight. Whatever. He got eight. What did I get for my turn? Seven. Don't care. Do I need a card? No. The reason I didn't take a card is if I hit Corinthia or Venice for my card, or Genoa, I'm blocking the 91 from going out, right? Unless I came through this 13. Like, boom. through. But I don't want to do that. Yeah. Pink is getting the idea right now that black is a big threat. He's figuring this out. Black has half of his troops. Pink could kill black, trade. He'd get second. But he's almost in a position... Like, if he was positioned better, he could kill black, trade, and get an attacker's advantage roll on my 91 and maybe win the game. His troops are in terrible positions, though. He's trying to force Pink to take cards in here. Oh my god, Pink, you're so confused, dude. Funny enough, Black holding all this is only getting one troop a turn more than me. <laughs> this is... this. It is painful watching the Pink player play the game. I am... Uh, I'm crying on the inside. You're gonna hit my 5 stack? Bro. He's so confused. Whatever, I will hit this. Because I think Black needs to take a card anyways. Black's either going to hit uh, Pink or, or hit me there for a card. Whatever. My stack will be open to him. He's trading? He's getting to hold a lot, but it's, it, it isn't that much. It's Now he got seven that turn, and I got seven. So I'm getting the same as him. As even, but he looks menacing, right? The amount he's holding of land, the land mass of what he has is menacing. And so is the same for pink. Now he's taking that, and I'm going to go uh, shocked. Shocked emoji. And he's pointing the 56 down. He's playing around pink being awful pretty well. Mm. Pink is so slow. It's 20 seconds already and he's done nothing. Like, he's so lost. So unbelievably lost. Just take a card here. I'm not letting him hold the uh, plus seven. I'm hoping pink doesn't let him hold it. I'll, if pink breaks him, I'll skip. Okay, I'll skip. Because he can come through and hit pink. He can't hit me without going through at least a pink 14. Oh, yeah, break everything. Great. Like, if black ram dingles pink, I'm good. Yeah, skip. Black at 7, I get my 7. Pink's getting what a turn? 12? But more if he holds all this. Like if he ram dingles me, then he ram dingles me, but he, uh, Pink wouldn't get the kill on me. I think I'd get to kill Black first. So if Black suicides me, I do get second. If he suicides Pink here, I win. Boom. 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 All the way. You've already committed to this. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now that is what I call a juicy meatball of a game. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Doesn't matter what pink does, I win on my next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. Screaming, I accept your request. We are allies now. Attack black. <laughs> oh, come on, pink, you confused boy. Just hit black. Don't you worry. It's all over now. The man who drank a monster right before this game is allowed to go pee pee time. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to go PP. Pay pay! Black's got 32 troops. Yeah, I can, uh, I can just double kill this. I'm going to kill Black and Ram Dingle Pink. 
The, uh... Okay, that makes it easier. I, the smart play would be kill pink for his five cards and then... And, and give black second. But you know who I don't like from this game more than somebody else? I don't like black. I like pink more than black. Okay, he's very annoying. Screw you, Kareep. Uh, I have enough troops for both of them, actually, so it doesn't really matter. Yep, we're killing black first. Black first. I wanted him to see my speed and my pathing and realize you were beat by a Grandmaster. Done deal, get out of my game. Goodbye, Italy. Oh, General Chambers 19,002. I am not 19,002. This is the Kilted account. That's right. That's right. Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly the ranks we expected. Very low skill to medium skill. Intermediate for black. Yep. Great game. We pulled it out. We had to deal with some bullshit, but sometimes you do in risk to get that W. Thank you guys for hanging out to the end of the, ch the, end of the channel. Thank you for... The channel's still going. Thank you for hanging out to the end of the game. Please subscribe to this channel if you're not already. This is my second channel where you're going to get the long, slower, methodical, well thought out, long content stuff that's unedited, etc. If you want that quick explosive, and the best games I ever play, they'll all be on the main channel. So check that one out, Kilted, if you don't know about it, which you probably do. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is right here.